on then, Norris. Spill! I think Norris has said more than enough. It's unseemly. Tina admitted kissing him. <laughs> <laughs> to who? She was talking to Carla. I'm only repeating what I overheard. No, look, he's lying. I don't know the lurid details. Oh, surprise, surprise, Norris. You never do, do you? You just take, take tiny bits of gossip, dip them in poison, and then you fire them. Oh, come on, Tracy. Look, you don't believe him, do you? But why would he make it up, Rob? Oh, come on, Tina, I don't even fancy her. Come on, let's go. Assault? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Norris. Aggravated. Whose number won't he give you? Um, HM Revenue and Customs. We've had a VAT query. And uh, Steve spoke to someone, didn't you, Steve? Uh, yes, yeah. I did. And they were very helpful. But now I want to speak to them, and he won't give me the extension of the woman he spoke with. Well, that's because I'm sorting it, and I feel like I've built up a personal relationship with this person. At the VAT office? There isn't a VAT office anymore. It's all been merged into one. Steve won't give Lloyd your number. Oh. Well, I merely pointed out that it's not my place to go giving your number away willy-nilly. Not even to your best mate? Well, I don't know about best mate. I'm quite pally with Pete today, do So you're protecting me? I don't mind if you go out with him. Oh, look, this is really embarrassing. Can we just pretend we didn't have this conversation? Well, hang on. So you don't want to ask me out? No, I'm, no, I'm not saying that. I just I'm accepting the high likelihood that you'd knock me back if I did. I know you two are supposed to be best buddies, but could we chat about this without Steve? OK. Fine by me. Ben's not here. You've had a wasted journey. I mean it. Now shove off, Mum. Mum, look at me. They're not social workers. It's okay. Oh, they look like social workers. Police? No, honestly, I'm just a friend of Maddie's. How do you like if I turn up at your house and start asking you? Can you know? I can find out where you live. Leave us alone. Mum, I told you to stay inside. You're not taking him. My little brother. He's run away from his foster carers. I've told her he has to go back. I'd almost got her to see sense, and then you showed up. Clear off, will you? Come on, Sophie, leave them to it. didn't snog Tina. <laughs> As if. She's a complete nightmare, Rob. But don't say you wouldn't. But I'm saying that I didn't. But this is a trust thing, Trace. If you won't take my word for it, then we've got a problem here. Right, but Norris said that... Oh, but he was just eavesdropping, wasn't he? Obviously, he got the, the wrong end of the stick. So? Tina snogged who? Kirk? Dennis! It's more likely than her getting anywhere near these babies, all right? You have soul rights over my entire body. You cheated on Eva. That was different. She's not you, is she? Do you promise me that you are telling me the truth? I'm into this. I'm into you. I feel like we're on a date already and it started really badly. So turn it around. Make me want to go out with you. Hey? <laughs> I'm only teasing. All right, uh, Andrea. Yes, Lloyd. You see, that's why I wanted to phone you. Well, then I could just leave a message. What, your phone number? No, my lottery numbers. So all this hasn't put you off? Of course, you could just ask me now while we're here. All right, Andrea. Yes, Lloyd? Fancy going for a drink sometime? Yeah, I do. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Any news? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey. Uh, can I get you a drink? No, thanks. We should compare notes. What? Whoops, kissing. <sighs> okay, look, it was a mistake. We were both mortified, it happened. Had... Norris overheard you talking about it. Rob denied it. He lied through his teeth, in fact. What have you told her? Social services are obviously involved. They're trained to deal with situations like this. Come on. Why are you still here? Because I'm worried about you, my dad. Ben, you've got to go back. You can't keep running away. I want to stay with my mum. But mum's poorly. She needs looking after. You know what she gets like. Wait. What about if I ring us a taxi, eh? And we just drop you off to wherever you're going? Well, I knew you put it about, Tina. But even I didn't think you'd sink so low as to chase after somebody else's bloke. Oh, was that the whole point? Because he's mine. Is that why you came back? No, it was a stupid mistake. We both wished it, it, it had never happened. Oh, you troll! Hey, 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 that's enough. Are you sleeping with him? Tracy, it was a stupid kiss. Oh, and you expect me to believe that? Nobody just kisses. You've slept together. Uh, no! <laughs> All right, the cards on the table. She's, um... She's got this thing about me. What? Oh, come on, admit it. it, it it's borderline obsessive, but I, I did not encourage it, and I, I'm not interested in her. Uh, Rob, you kissed me. She's always buzzing around. I, I, I swat her away, but she keeps coming back. Look, Trace. I had a tiny, tiny moment of weakness, and then I, I, I reached for the for the fly spray. Okay, so you've gone from Tracy, nothing happened to. Oh yeah, something did happen, but it meant nothing. Yeah. I must think I'm really stupid. <laughs> You're making this out to be a bigger deal than it need be. Oh, so how come you told her? I never told anyone she walked in on us. Because there's nothing to know. Look, let's just go home and talk about this. Get your hands off me, Rob! You know, that ugly encounter left me quite traumatised. You deserved it. Hey? Norris, you're such a conundrum to me, so contradictory. Well, I think I'm uh, perfectly straightforward, like, like an open book. You have many endearing qualities. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're very community-minded. You take a passionate interest in the place you live and the people in it. And you're very, very moral. You have good, clear values that you live by and you expect others to live by. Well, I like to think so. And you're a stickler for detail. The way you fill in, for example, and scrutinise the grammar on everything you read, well, it's... it's absolutely fastidious. Well, someone has to try and maintain standards. But at the same time, and this is where you're a conundrum, you can be the most small-minded, despicable busybody, forever sticking your nose in where it's not wanted, and you delight in causing upset and distress whenever you can. Hypocrite. When I told you I had a bit of tasty news, you, you were chomping at the bit. You just don't want to get your hands dirty. I have to say, it is only a very foolish man who will risk the wrath of Tracy Barlow, and you, my friend, have stirred up a hornet's nest. Hey, steady on. Why do I pick these men? I am such a mug. Get ready to gloat, ma'am. What's he done? The thing I've been lying in bed worrying about. The thing that I knew he'd do sooner or later. Conned you out of loads of money? No. Police have raided the shop. Ma'am, the business is not dodgy. He's gorgeous. I'm surprised it lasted this long. Oh. He's done the dirty on you. With a girl. And she is a girl. Younger than me. Who? I'll give you a clue, ma'am. She hates my guts. Oh, well, that narrows it down. It's Tina McIntyre. And I'll tell you one thing. I am going to make her pay for this. I'm going to stay here, but 
Well, it's urgent. Hiya. Hi. I was on the verge of authorising the money transfers for tomorrow. And I got cold feet. I thought, can I really trust Armstrong? Yes. I mean, is he biting off more than he can oh, chew? Hang on a minute. You're not pulling out now, are you? Stop it. He's winding you up. <laughs> Put your bottle. Seal oh, the deal. You you had me. Then. I know. Tina and Rob, are, are you sure about this? Norris heard her admit it. She kissed him. Kissed? It's, it's just the thought of them even being alone together. Flirting even. It, it makes me feel sick. But if things haven't gone any further... What, you think I should turn a blind eye? <laughs> Look, I'm not his biggest fan. You know that. And a couple of weeks ago, I'd have probably been telling you to get rid, but... No, you... Maybe... I'm getting soft in my old age. I don't know, maybe if you just... kept him on a tight leash, make sure he doesn't step out of line again. Mum, he cheated on me. With somebody I despise. Yes, but if it was a mistake... Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I just need to get some air. Take the dog with you. Serve me going. Why are you still here? Oh, she won't have me tea ready for another half hour yet. <laughs> Why do you think I'm in the doghouse, aren't I? Well, all the more reason to go home and sort it out. <sighs> Why didn't you go along with what I said? You made it worse. Because you made me sound like a bunny boiler. Yeah, but if, if she thinks that you're a psycho, then it casts me in a more sympathetic light, doesn't oh, it? Oh, cheers. You promised you'd keep stum. That did. Then how come Nosy Norris found out? Oh, that might have been me, actually. My fault, cos while we were talking, he probably heard us. Tell you what, you've got some brass neck standing up to Tracy. I'm not scared of her. Are you sure I didn't go any further? Yes. Yeah. It was a one-off, all right? So why don't you buy a present, go home and grovel? The longer you stay here, the worse it's gonna be. Yeah, you're right. I can talk around. Well, I know where I'd rather live. Where? With a foster care while your own mum and dad? Well, there's obviously a good reason why he's in care. Didn't see a dad around. Can I ask her back? What? Please, Mum, just for something to eat. Sophie, you can't get involved with everybody you meet in the shelter. I mean, what is this about? Well, I just want to help. Well, I think it's lovely that you care, but... It's just bad that the rest of the world doesn't, right? Please, Mum. Maddie? If you want to come to our house for something to eat... So if the push comes to shove, I'm just going to have to increase the investment. Not if we ease back a bit. You know, lease less expensive equipment. You want to risk losing the affluent clientele that we need. And you don't go mention any of this to Jason when he shows up. <laughs> if he shows up. He will. Look, that Owen Armstrong's over there. Why don't we just go and get him to size the job? I already up? asked. Okay, he's snowed under. You all right, right guys? Sorry I'm late. My mum's washed on the blink. I thought you'd forgotten oh. about us, dude. You all right? Oh, Who's this? Tony. Uh, it's me dad. He's partner. No, but I am in the trade. Might be able to give you all some good advice. Uh, Dad, why don't you go over the roves on me today, yeah? No, I'll give you a hand. Okay. Thanks, nice. We'll get cracking. Um, come here. Um, sit down. Do you, do you want a cup of tea? Please. Okay. Right, I'll, uh, I'll sit the kettle on then. So, what's in your bag then? Birthday present. It's your birthday. Yeah. Been on it, my mum, to get me this. Ooh. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Can I use your phone? Yeah, sure. I just want to ring and see if Ben's all right. OK. So he wasn't meant to be with your mum. I don't understand. It's complicated. Hello, it's Maddie. Been there. I just want to see if he's okay. What's going on? Cheers. Sophie took pity on her own, invited a party. Hey, mate, you're right. Are you all right about that? 
I didn't get a lot of choice. I told you there's nothing I can't handle. What about price? Uh -huh. uh, I'll look at the figures tonight. Uh, what makes rates, Jason? I'll do the best price I can, you know that, Dev. Thank you. You know, we've got other people looking at the job. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well, I'm gagging for a pint. Don't know about anyone else. Yeah, well, here we got shit. It's nice to meet you, though. <laughs> Come on, man. You can give me a bullpark figure. I'm not gonna hold you to it. He said he'd do a proper estimate tonight, drop it round tomorrow. Great. Good. Good. Cheers, then. <laughs> Barging on my thing. Stop selling yourself short. Feeling better? No. I feel humiliated. Like the whole street knew about it. You know, if it was me, I'd mark his card, but really milk it. Use it to get a, a romantic mini break out of him, but don't dump him. Not when you've got a business. That'll be him, ma'am. Just leave us alone for a minute, please. I don't know what you think you're playing at. Yeah, I know. Look, Trace, look. No more lies, all right? I should have come clean about Tina and... But the only reason why I didn't is because it meant nothing. I'd erased it. I instantly regretted it, all right? I don't want to jeopardise what we've got. What we've got, it, it's amazing. Had. What we had. Look, I'm sorry, Rob, but if you can even look at another <sighs> woman, you are not into this, not the way I am. And if a relationship isn't equal... Oh, no, 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 there's nothing. There's nothing. I mean it. I don't want you oh, here. come on, Tracy. You, you can't throw everything away just because of a stupid, meaningless kiss. It's me and you that's meaningless. Keys. Two pies, please, Steve. Why is he asking for mates' rates? Because he's a mate. Yeah, but he should pay the going rate. Do you get mates' rates off him when you buy a pint of milk? No. Jim, it's a terrible idea. Yeah, well, I'd use it. Oh, yeah, because you'd get mates' rates. I can't go out tonight, though. No? No, I've got an evening of scintillating conversation planned. Really? Doing the night shift with Steve. I'm gonna be so bored. Another drink? I'll get him. No, my round. All right, then. I'll have another OJ. Ali? <laughs> gooseberry juice. You're not a gooseberry. Oh, all right, then. I'll have a vodka and coke. Thanks very much. <laughs> yes? OJ, vodka and coke, and a bottle of beer, please. Large or small, buddy? Small. You are cool with me and Lloyd going out. Yes. Why shouldn't that be? Well, because we're mates. And now I'm going out with him. Could be awkward. Well, I meant it when I said I just didn't want to give you a number out. Glad you care. But yeah, yeah, you know, go out with who you like. We should go out and celebrate. Maybe. Would you like some more pie? Yeah, please. OK, I'll get it. So, what exactly is the matter with your mummy? Is she ill? Sort of. Has she been to see a doctor? Yeah. She doesn't really like doctors. Well, by the sounds of it, she doesn't like anybody who tries to help her. Mum, leave it. You don't know anything about us. Well, when she thought we were social services, she started getting all shirty with us. <laughs> I know that feeling. Social services broke up our family. Well, they don't get involved for no reason. There must have been a problem. She does her best. Mum, I've just told you to leave it. Actually, stick your pie. I'm out of here. No! Maddie, wait! Mum, seriously! Maddie, wait! Wait! Wait, wait! She doesn't know anything about my family. She should keep her nose out. I know. Mom should. My mum can't help out. She's any more than your mum. Please don't go. I don't need your pity. No, but Maddie, I really like you. Leave me alone. Trace! Trace! You're overreacting! Trace! Oi! Tracy! Well, maybe Tracy's not such a pushover after all then, Rob, eh? What's going on? She's chucked me out. I can't believe it. She's... She's chucked me out. Looks like you're gonna have to bunk up with Tina. That is not helpful. Sorry. I'm sorry. 
What am I going to do now? Right then. I'll get another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you and Owen been married? Oh, well, no, we're not married. Um, Gary's my son and Katie and Izzy, they're his daughters. I adopted Faye before we got together. Quite a mix. Well, I've never been as happy in the whole life. On that note, I'd like to propose a toast. Two toasts, actually. The mill, which I hope will make us all very rich. Yeah, yeah. But secondly, to a formidable new partnership. Feeling and Armstrong. Feeling and Armstrong. Yeah. You're in Sai's room. That's great, thanks. Don't thank me. Have yourself to the bathroom if you need a shower out. Cheers, sis. Mm. Don't make him too comfy. Never get rid of him. <laughs> oh. Listen, you'll be back in Tracy's bed tomorrow. She's just making you sweat. I wouldn't bank on it. She's teaching you a lesson, trust me. She will take him back, won't she? Well, I don't know. You know better than me. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll talk to her. And you give a hoot because... Because I don't want to see Tracy get hurt. But you were dead set against them being together in the first place. What's changed? Well, they deserve each other. Besides, it's the rest of the female population that I fear for if he's on the prowl again. Oh, Tina better watch out then, eh? Obviously, they fancy each other. Might give them a little nudge. Well, just what exactly does Steve and Lloyd get up to during their late night shifts in the cab office? Streetcar Stories, a brand new miniseries, is out now. It's at itv.com slash Corrie. Still to come, a strange disappearance brings with it confusing evidence, but it's his own team causing concern for DCI Banks tonight on ITV. The brand new series is next. Yeah.